The functional brain scan, um, it's a really specialized form of MRI scanning and it takes a lot of hard work to get it um, in, in a way that can be used um, you know, on actual patients. So you have to have normative data, so you have to know what normal looks like. That takes a lot of work to get, um, that, to get it ready in that way. It's a specialized form of brain scan um, and we probably will see it used more widely um, in the future as it gains acceptance in its use. Uh, there isn't really a lot of mystery behind it. It's just a lot of um, work to make it so that it's in a form suitable for, you know, to use with patients where you really can trust it. The scans are an integral part of what we do. Um, it allows us to really see what's going on in the brain because, um, because concussion is so difficult to diagnose, right? Um, the symptoms are very subjective. They can mimic a lot of other um, illnesses or other injuries. It can mimic a lot of psychiatric issues. A lot of patients can get misdiagnosed. Our scan is a very objective way to see, number one, do you have a concussion? Number two, how severe is it? And number three, um, which biomarkers or which aspects of concussion are you in particular dealing with the most? Um, and if you meet those biomarkers, I can state with confidence, yes, I do believe you had a concussion. Or if you don't, I can say, you know, these are the areas that you're still struggling with, but it doesn't look like it's a concussion. Maybe it's related to this or maybe it's related to that. So at least providing that clarity on a basic level. Secondly, the scan is so important because it absolutely and directly guides treatment. There's no guesswork, you know. Um, we know exactly which networks are are, uh, are being affected and and in what direction, whether it's hyperactivation or hypoactivation. Thirdly, um, and I think this is probably the most important for the patient, for them to be able to objectively see and validate that what they're experiencing is real um, is, is really, um, th there, there's no price you can put on that. I have patients that come to me crying um, because they've been told that it's that they're making it up or it's in their head or it's crazy and it is in their head um, but uh, just because their practitioner may not have the advanced imaging to see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist um, and so for that patient to be able to see where they were to start and at the end of treatment see how much more balanced their brain is um, is so rewarding um, and again so validating. Mm -hmm.